Well, hello and welcome to this edition of Energy Forecast. I hope that this message finds you alive, alert, awake, and enthusiastic about life and living. If not, hopefully this message will help. This is the weekly show that I host for my posse. That is the group of guides and angels I work with. And I ask for them to give us the energy forecast for the upcoming week. And the theme this week, it seems like they've been changing it on me, but the theme this week is joy and deciding. You know, this is the first, going to be the first full week of 2019. And it's a new moon was yesterday and it's a solar eclipse today. And you say, well, what does all of that mean? That means that the energy is ripe, ripe to help us manifest that that we focus in on. And what we're encouraging you to do is to focus in on joy. Focus in on that that you want. Like the energy is fertile and it will magnify, produce, bring forth um, that that you focus in on. So be conscious this week on focusing in on joy, focusing in on what you want. Remember, it is up to you as the leader, CEO of your life to decide what you want. And then we will help you. Then we will your guides and your angels will be there to support you, to give you help connect you with all the people, places, thoughts, feelings, and ideas that will help you manifest your greatest desires. But you have to choose. And you don't have to choose for a lifetime, but you do have to make a decision as to what you want now. And what we're encouraging you to do is to think about that those things that give you joy. Think about those things that <laughs> as a show I was watching called Tidy Up said, that give you a ping, <laughs> that make you go ping. If you can pick up something, you know, whether it be a job, a relationship, um, a hobby, your health, if it's not giving you a ping, that joy, then you can choose, you can decide to focus on something that does, that does. So this week, um, it is just really calling for us to focus in on the joy, focus in on what we want. The time is ripe with the new moon and Capricorn. It is the perfect time, the beginning of the year to make a decision. And one way that we make a decision is by actually writing it down. You know, they say, think it, ink it. As long as it's in your head, it is a dream. But once you commit it to writing, you have actually gone 
pulled in that particular idea and said, okay, here team, <laughs> ooh, ooh, this is what we're going to be working on this year. This is what we're going to be working on better health. We're going to be working on growing our business. We're going to be working on developing our knowledge base for upcoming business. I don't know what it is for you that is up for you to decide. But use the you know, your emotions gauge, if you're on the right frequency, use that emotion of joy, that ping, to help you realize if you're going in the right direction. Or is it just doing something? You want those things that give you joy, you get up, you, you're eager to do do it. But those things are just, hmm, you know, it's real easy to procrastinate about because they're just, hmm, if you get it done, if you don't get it done, oh, well. But those things that give you joy, that's ping, <laughs> I love that, ping, <laughs> it will motivate you to get up in the morning to do. So that is the theme for this week. The theme, I guess, is short, sweet, and to the point. Choose joy. Make a decision as to what you want. And <laughs> it, it will start the year off right. I um, have in the past used cards to share this uh, forecast, but this week <laughs> they said just say, decide joy, decide joy. Let that be the theme. Now, I am going to pull from a deck that I have been using for quite a while, for at least the last several months. And I use it because I like what Colette Baron Reed does with the good tarot. What she's done with the traditional tarot deck is to give positive affirmations. She's taken the time to write it in positive affirmations that are in the now so that we can integrate this energy immediately and personally. And let me see what card pops up. I've already shuffled the card. Two popped out, so those are the two years. Let's see. We have the Queen of Earth. Remember, Earth is always that material part. And we have the Two of Fire talking about action. Let's see if we go, when we go to the book, like I said, because she has written it out so well, I'm reading it exactly from <laughs> the book. I chuckled because I just saw what the two fire um, was, but let me hit the queen first of earth. And you know, Capricorn is an earth sign. It's so it says practical grounded, resourceful, a gardener who tends to what has been planted. I am committed down to earth and clear about my goals. 
I use my resources wisely, whether they are finances, opportunities, or people willing to help me in my <laughs> endeavors. It always surprise delights me how universal <laughs> the information is. So we're getting definitely confirmation that we need to be practical and grounded committed and clear about our goals. And then the two of fire says, creative planning for the future, mapping progress, trusting in the unknown, spirit inspired ambitions. Whenever I can't see how my dreams will come into form, I can trust in the process of co-creating and engage more deeply in the process of envisioning something new. I have already started to make progress and soon my passion will attract the perfect situation for me. The light of spirit helps me to see my way and feel the universe aligning to bring me what I need. So, like I said, creative planning for the future. Make a decision. Be the gardener that is ready to tend to their garden. Map out your progress. And even though you can't see how it might come to fruition, just ask for the next step. And if you can follow it and just take the next step, you might enjoy the adventure. I know I certainly have. So um, I hope that that message helped you in setting your goals for the year. Um, I hope that you will use the energy to really, of this week, to really get clear and use it to plant those goals. Uh, and if you feel that somebody else that you know might benefit from this, please do share it. I am Kay Elizabeth Green. For those of you who don't know, I am a spiritual fitness coach, author of the book, Building Spiritual Muscle, where I work with all of you highly sensitive natural born leaders, which I refer to as indigos, live your best life life now by learning to home and tune into your intuitive muscle. As always, it is my true pleasure to host this show. If I can help you in any way, please do let me know. May light, love, and plenty of laughter accompany you on your journey. Until next time, may you have a blessed one. I am Elizabeth.